There are three chords that every worship piano player should know how to play. Using these in your playing is going to give you a rich, professional sound. In this video, we're going to be looking at the first of those three, the add two or the two chord. Hi, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Jared Messer. I'm the founder and the creator of WorshipMusicAcademy.com. I'm really glad that you joined me for this. In this video, we're talking about the add two or the two chord. Now, we can go super deep on music theory to explain how to create these, but I'm going to try to keep it light here and just give you the framework so that you can quickly implement these add two or two chords into your playing. And when you do, it's going to give you a really rich, modern, professional sound. So when we think about chords, right, the, the basic chord that we play is called a triad. Let's just look at a C. So here's a C major chord. This is a triad. It's based on three notes. Triad, meaning three. Triad. Now the most basic form of a triad is exactly this. The root, and the root of the chord is always the name. So if it's a C chord, the root is a C. If it's an F chord, the root is the F. Right? If it's a G chord, the root would be... G, yeah. So in a C chord, we've got a root, which is the, we, we might call this the one or the first tone of the scale, or the first tone of the chord. And we always have a fifth at the top, which is the fifth tone, one, two, three, four, five, of the, of the chord, one, two, three, four, five. And then right in the middle, we have a third. One, three, five. We know this shape. If it's an F triad, we'd have that, so we have Here's our fifth shape, and then we have a third in the middle. So we have a third and a fifth. One, three, five. If it's uh, even if it's a different key, or if it's if you know, we could just say A flat. A flat's the root. One, three, five. One, three, five. That is the basic chord structure that we start from. Now, when we're going to be adding two or creating a two chord, all we're going to be doing is adding. Two. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So if we have one, three, five, one, three, five, adding two is going to be adding the two of that particular chord. So if we have, if we think of it in terms of one, two, three, four, five, right? We're going to add the two. So if we got one, three, five, and two, that is an add two chord. Now, again, we can get way deeper into the weeds on half steps and major thirds and perfect fifths. But for right now, the basic understanding of this is what I want you to get. And that is, triads look like this. It's a major triad. And to add two, we're going to be adding a that second tone in that chord. One, three, five, add two. And it creates this sound. Now, it happens to be this interval here, or these notes that separate, the distance between these notes happens to be a major second, which is, that draws as a minor second, right? A major second is this interval, and it's usually the tones of a scale. So there's our one, three, five, and we add two to give a two chord sound. This is my left hand here. That's my two chord. That's an add two. It's called an add two because we are adding two. Now, the other one, that's pretty common in worship music. The other version of that, which is similar, is just called, we just call it a two chord. We call it a two chord not because it's the two of the scale, like a two minor chord, but because we're because it's a two version of the triad. So if I were to write that, I would it would be a C add two. Okay? But a two chord is going to be slightly different. That's where we're going to take the third and we're going to remove it from the, from the chord. And instead of the three, we're going to make it a two. Okay, so instead of the third, we're going to play a two. So I'm just taking this third note and I'm dropping it down a whole step here and I'm getting a two. It's a C two chord. So here's the difference. Here's a triad. Here's the add two. Got that second interval. And then here's the two. So this would be a C chord. This would be a C add two. And this would be a C two. Let's look at F. So we're in the key of C. So if we go one, two, three, four, up to the fourth chord, which is an F, we can create another triad here. One, three, five, five. We're going to play an add two, which means we'd put the second interval right above F, which is a G. 
And then we could play an F2, which would be we take out the third, which is the third in, in this chord, and we replace it with the second of the chord. Sounds like that. So here's the triad, F triad, or F major. F add two, and then F2. Now there's a reason why I showed you a C and an F. When you're in the key of C, you can think of terms of the notes of the scale, all having numbers. If you think in those terms, you'd have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, which would make our one chord a C, and our four chord, one, two, three, four, would be an F. Okay? So when you're playing these add twos or two chords, the most common place they're going to use them when you apply them to your playing is in the, in the one chord and the four chord. So if you think in terms of one, four, five, one, four, five, the one and the four chord are going to be where you'll use these two chords. It would sound like this. That kind of sound. Now you can interchange these with with your triads, like I might play something like this. Okay? Now what I've played here is a C triad. Now I have still the same shape. See this? That's still a C too. I happen to have an E in the bass. Okay? And then I played this. This is kind of a stretched out version, but notice the notes of the chord. F. Look at this right here. F, G, and C. So if you think in terms of the add two, you're going to have a C2 would be a C, a D, and, an, and a G. Now, if there's a C in the bass, it doesn't matter how I shape these chords. These are inversions here where I'm just moving the notes around. But I still have the same notes, right? I have a C, a D, a D and a G. There's a D, a G, and a C. Now, if I put an E in there, it would be an add, it would be an add two. Right? Because I have now I have C D E G. Same thing with F. I have an F in the bass. Doesn't matter what shape I play. As long as I have those same notes, right? And this is F G C. So I could play it this way. I could play it this way. And you can create all different kind of sounds by how you move these notes around. And spacing it out, you can get this. A really rich sound. At C add two, F two. Now it's not as common in the other chords. You can use it in like a six. It's not as common in contemporary music, but they do. You could use it in a five sometimes. Not as common, but if you begin to implement and begin to use this one, a two chord instead of just a triad, just play a two. You can literally do it. If it says C, try to play a C two instead. It adds depth. Now, if you're playing by yourself and you're playing to a chord chart, you want to play the chords exactly as they are. But if you're in a band setting and there's guitars and there's other things and you want to implement, create something interesting, you can, you can almost always make it a two chord to create an interesting sound to embellish the sound. So one and four. That's the C2 or the two chord and the add two. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I really hope it's a blessing to you. If you want to keep up with everything we're doing on the channel, please click below to subscribe. If you want to see more videos and tutorials like this one, you can click right over here. If you want to hear more about a worship piano course, hundreds of videos, tutorials, walkthroughs, all kinds of details to help you learn to play like a pro, click right down here. Hope to meet you soon. God bless you.